One of Australia's foremost Indigenous thinkers is calling tonight for an end to race-based entitlement. In a landmark speech at the Melbourne Writers' Festival, Professor Marsha Langton will propose a welfare system based only on economic need and not Aboriginality. She says it would help end any sense of entitlement as well as stop the perception that non-Aboriginal people may be taking advantage of the system. Jeff Waters reports. Writers' festivals are for ideas. Sometimes they're eccentric, but they can also be groundbreaking. And a speech in Melbourne tonight will raise plenty of eyebrows, especially the part where Professor Marsha Langton will argue against government programs aimed specifically at Indigenous people. All of these programs are constructed, when you get down to the essence, on the belief that Aborigines can't do it because they're racially different. Instead, Professor Langton wants Social Security and other programs only rolled out to people on the basis of real economic need. Then a lot of rubbish in the policy world falls away. For example, she says, things like remote work for the dole programs would be abolished and recipients forced to enter the real economy. She says it's something which may be addressed in a referendum, foreshadowed by the government, which could see the removal of race references from the constitution, but new recognition of Australia's first peoples. Then Aboriginal people become um, citizens with an attribute that is political, not racial. But things like language and culture could still be protected, according to the professor. And they would be legitimate policies argued on the basis of a first people status, not a race theory. Back at the Writers' Festival, Professor Langton has plenty of support. I've always admired Marsha Langton for her clarity, her inclusiveness, the sense with which she's spoken about things, her interpretation of the intervention, for example. And her latest interpretation hinges on recognising difference while moving to the mainstream. Jeff Waters, ABC News.